Hello and welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, we are doing my eyeshadow inventory and declutter. Um, I don't exactly know if this is the last one or if this is part three as of right now because, you know, it all depends on how long it actually takes to record this part and then do all of my palettes. Right now, I should be showing you an overview of every single palette that I own and all of these single shadows. So, if you're looking at that right now, it is a lot. Um, <laughs> so, it basically all depends on how long this part takes. So, maybe I should stop talking. Um, but yeah, I did my everything. Just, just all of the things. All of the sections. In part two. There are lip products and in part one is literally everything else that you could ever think of that is makeup. In part three, maybe part four, if I have to split this, it's single eyeshadows and palettes. So yeah, let's get into this collection and declutter. Okay, so I have 54 single eyeshadows that aren't all here um, because some of them that are counted aren't single in a little individual pot thing, but... These are primarily what I would categorize as single eyeshadows. I also have some Z palettes and like D pots and all that crap. So I'll show that next. But these are my individual potted shadows. All of these are good, <laughs> decent, but only some of them are like amazing. Some of them I'm keeping around just because of I don't have anything like it and I I want to just keep the things that I already have instead of going, oh crap, I need that and having to buy it again. So, you know, if I don't depot something, depot, oh my god, if I don't declutter something because I could use it in the future, that is why. So, on that note, let me move my finger out of the way. These two, I already have a review on these, the Lottie London Color Clouds, they suck. On my eyes specifically. They're supposed to be crease free. They're not. I don't actually remember the names. Oh, they're on the top. Okay. Minty Fresh and Cocoa something. Love and Cocoa. These are fine, I would assume, but not on me. You can see it demoed twice in that video. Everything that I say has a video will be linked down below in my single product reviews playlist because that's where all of these things go. Um, so, you know, if you want to watch that playlist, that'd be nice. That'd be great. Give me some views. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these are good if you're not using them on your eyes or any place that has oils or creases. They do show up. They do blend out. But they're not as good as the About Face ones. The only reason why I'm keeping them is because the About Face ones are completely different colors. So, since they're still liquid shadows I can mix in, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have the black, the green, the white, the blue, and the brown in the about face shades. This is the darker brown, this is the darker blue. Um, these are all good. The white, kind of patchy. That's the only one so far that I really don't like. Haven't tried the black on my eyes. But yeah, these are all fine, I guess. I don't really use them that much. The one I've used the most is the brown because it's also the one that I got first. This is the Sephora special shade in Strapless from Laura Mercier. I got this last year for my birthday. My birthday has already passed this year. So this is one, year's, one year old. And I like it. I'm going to just try to finish it. If it's not done by the end of the year, then it's going to go. But so far, it doesn't, like, stink or anything. Because I've had some Laura Mercier products before. And those start to stink after a minute. So, yeah. If it starts to change, I'll do something with it. But right now, it's fine. And I actually do like the color. But it's limited edition. So, it's not even, like, if I actually liked it, I could get it again. You know? Another about face thing. Oh, my I'm just, they, just, they could live on the floor. Um, Another about face thing is the Fractal Eye Paint. It's not in this packaging anymore. It's now in this packaging. But I got it when it was in this packaging, which I'm kind of upset by because this is a lot bigger. This is good. It's the same exact type of thing as the Fenty um, Diamond Balm, except more silver instead of like just the glitter. But you can share it out to be just the glitter. It's great. I actually really like this. And I want to get this in the like brown version 
but obviously in the newer packaging. Moving on to my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. This is Cheap Date, this is Ritz, this is Koosh, this is Tassel, this is Rooftop Cocktails, this is Dream Much. Oh wait, is that it? <laughs> yeah, those are the ones that I'm keeping. These are from the like uh, Taupe Collection. This one is by itself, it's just white. These two are from that Amethyst Palette Collection and this is by itself, it's just white. Yeah, the other ones I'm getting rid of, but we're not talking about that right now. This is also ColourPop. This is Barrel from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I had all three of these and this is the only one that has survived. They were all in the same packaging. My other Jelly Muches, which I'm, I'm decluttering, I am decluttering a different one because it doesn't last as long. Like they dry out so quick. But Barrel is not only the most unique shade and the prettiest, but it's also the one that has lasted the longest. I don't know what they put in this specific one, but it's so good. Then I have my Bodyography Glitter Pigments in Aura Glow and Stellar. These were from Super Great and they're nice. These are like the first glitters that I've tried that stay. I have a short of these, so if you want to see them swatched, they're there. Next, we have the Natasha Denona Mini uh, eyeshadow thing. Oh, from the Zendo palette. This is Sense 384M. This is just a nice reddish brown, I guess. I've only actually used this on my eyes once. I've swatched this multiple times, but I've only ever used it on my eyes once. It's a nice shadow. It's the same as the other Natasha Denona shadows. It's fine. Next is Shock Chalk. This is a creamy type shadow. This is luxurious. This is like fancy, but it's only like $9. Or maybe it was $9 on sale and they're more expensive than that. Or maybe it is not. I honestly don't remember the actual price because I got this during the Sephora sale. But this is amazing. I have another Sephora shadow which is closer to like Tassel or the Fenty Diamond Balm. And that came in a holiday set. But this I got by itself and this is top tier. Highly recommend that one. This is Gold Leaf from Ulta Beauty. This Delustrious Foil Eyeshadow. I've only used this on my eyes once, but not in a full look, just to swatch it. It's fine, kind of has a lot of fallout when you swipe it across, but if you clean that up, it's fine, it sticks. But I, I don't have much to say on this one. This is the Ulta Beauty Bouncy Eyeshadow. This is the one that everybody was saying was a dupe for. What is it called? Um, well, I know that it's Ritz for sure because this is like equivalence to Ritz, but what is Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. That's what this is a dupe for. But this is more creamy, not dry. Like this is a cream eyeshadow, not a powder eyeshadow. And I really like it. The only thing is, is if you put it on matte eyeshadows, it creates that weird discrepancy line where you can see that you put something wet on something dry. So I don't really like that. But besides that, this is an eyeshadow. It does crease though. Although it's easy to fix, on my eyes, they crease. Moving down here, this is from Play Beauty. I got this from Super Great, and it is the shade Disco Dust. I have an entire video on this, comparing it to my other shadows that are similar to this. This is fun. It's just a bit messy because it's a loose shadow, but it's like big, <laughs> you know? I don't really like that. If I wanted a loose shadow, I'd get like the bodyography. This, these are all actually loose eyeshadows. I just, I got them in a palette because that's how I bought them. I bought the palette because I wanted the magnet. <laughs> like, not even lying with you. I wanted the magnet. And I was in the Inglot store and I was like, why not get four shades and then get this? I don't actually remember what any of these are called, but it is the white shade, a green shade, a gold shade, and a limited edition party shade. Don't actually remember what these are called and I really can't get them out. I tried so I could like remember the names and I have it in my inventory, but I've just, I don't know what it is right now. Now for all of the things that are being decluttered. So most of my single shadows have either dried up or gone to crap over the years. So most of these I got early 2020 and it's 2023. So they kind of sort of aren't going to last all too long given the fact that they're cream. But the recent ones even are kind of trash. This is the only one that is still workable. But it just, it doesn't work on my eyes. Kind of like a grease slick. 
So even though I do like that look, I wouldn't wear it for a long time. So what's the point, you know? Okay. So this is Astromech. This, oh no. <laughs> this is Protocol. Astromech was the one I decluttered before. That was the blue one. That dried out faster. I thought this was going to last a bit longer because it was lasting a bit longer, but it just, it didn't. This is a white to yellow and I already used it, but I don't know. These ones aren't good as the one in the glass container. I don't really like these container jelly matches. These two were from the Make It Black collection. It's Millennium and what's the other one called? Main Attraction. These two are nice. I really only ever used this one as like a topper of bronze. And this, I'm barely used. I don't think I ever used this for like a full look. I think this is mainly for swatches. This is the pinkest pink that I ever had. And this is like a duochrome. This is actually similar to the Pat McGrath shade that I will show you in her mini palette. After this, and it's like this bronze to pink duochrome. I really like this type of shade. But since I already have it in that palette and that's powder, that's better. Because these are both dry. This is Roy G. Biv. And this is Frog. These are the first two ColourPop Super Shock shadows that I ever got. As you get- oh my- I clearly liked Frog and honestly I'm still gonna use it. I'm just taking it out of my collection because I use it on occasion really. It's primarily because I, I just like the way it looks like look how wet it is oh my god. But um I'm just gonna get another one from Ulta because this lasted about a good three years and I can actually still get a pretty good swatch off of this. It's just I know for a fact that it's old and because I use it so much it's kind of gross. <laughs> But I might still use it. If I if I really need that frog looking shade, I'm going to use it. It's just that it's if that happens. Probably not going to happen. This is Plume. I never used this. And it's kind of sheer. And last out of these potted shades is from JCAT actually. This is the Prism Chrome Eye Mousse. And it's in the shade Leopard King. I like this dirty greenish black shade but I don't know when I put it on it doesn't actually look that good and I did not dent it I just wanted to see how um low it was like I didn't dent it from using it I dented it from just moving the product around it's also kind of sticky and tacky which like I guess is good if you like that but my eyes are oily I can't do nothing with that and last, this is just dry, but this is the Twin Flames um, from Danessa Myricks in the shade Crazy For You. I actually really like this, but it's literally dry, and I only ever used it like once on my eyes. I swatched it multiple times, but I've ever used it, I only used it once on my eyes, and I just got this like recently. Like it was either early this year or like late last year because I just got it. And I also heard that people's actual full-size ones, not just, you know, the gift for purchase ones, have also dried up easily. So, I just, I wouldn't buy this again, even though it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, to finish off what is in the drawers, we are going to go through most of my mini palettes, because that's where I house them. I would also like to acknowledge that a brush that I was using for my collection has broken. And I put it in here forgetting that I was supposed to put it in my declutter box. So yeah, this is also being decluttered because I don't even know where the top flew off to. Yeah. Okay, so for palettes, I'm going to let you guess. It is over 100. I'm going to give you three options. Is it over 100 by a little, by a lot, or just in the middle? So let's say A is like... It's under 125. B, it's under 150. Or C, it's breaching 200. What do you think? Vote. If you said A, you would be correct. I have 112 palettes. I also kind of sort of forgot the number when I was asking the question, so if the camera setup looks weird, that's because I was looking at my inventory. Okay, anyways. So this part is primarily a collection. I'm only going to declutter like five palettes because I already decluttered them in my mind. Because um, palettes are kind of hard to decide on a whim. So I actually have to like test them out, swatch them and do all that. 
extra process before actually recording this. That's why this entire thing took so long because I've just been prolonging and procrastinating this entire part. Um, but yeah, all of these are, no, let me not lie. Let me just show you what I have. <laughs> So first, we're going to start off with the Sephora Times Coach Collection. These are not sold anymore. Don't know if you can get them anymore, but I know that they're not on Sephora anymore. This is the Sharky palette, my favorite palette, the best black I own. Um, yeah, I love this palette. Nothing more I can say about it and nothing more I should say. Can't get it. This is the Rexy palette. And this is like more pastel-y tones. Working with one hand is just so hard. Yeah, this is an amazing blush actually. The two mattes in there that are the pink and the orange Sunrise and Peony. Cedar is nice, but it's just gray. And Frost is such a nice duochromey blue-white. Um, the other two are just okay. Like Mauve is fine, but it's just plain. And Taupe is kind of nasty. Like supposed to be a glitter but it's, it's it's not um but yeah i don't like this palette as much but the mattes are top tier and what the heck did i just drop oh okay <laughs> so i was gonna move on to natasha Denona anyways this is the baby retro palette this i have a swatch video on uh it was my first video that i used my new um thumbnail technique on you know putting the name in the little blurb and it being all cute and whatever and it got almost 3k views I think so yeah I kind of sort of like this palette I primarily only really like this shade though the nude mauve shade these are three shades from the actual big palette so this is not like a new thing so if I ever get the big palette this would have to go because like what's the point um but I don't think I'm gonna get that anytime soon next next is the baby biba I think the only shade that's recurring is this middle like matte shade, if I remember correctly. Um, this is kind of a nasty palette because these shades are kind of just like blending shades and very light on me. So I don't really care for it. I like this shade though. Although it's still light, it's a nice shade. So this is still useful. It's just not my favorite. But it's also not like something I would completely hate and throw out. But these are also from Sephora Favorites things. So I didn't really have a choice. Um, anyways, this is the Star Palette. No. <laughs> this is the Metropolitan Palette. And this was a holiday collection. Came with a brush and everything. That's a my brush collection. Um, you can't see any of the words on this. So why am I even turning those around? This is a nice palette. I don't really like the mattes. I like the shimmers. So I don't really use this that much. This is the Star Palette. Again, don't really like the mattes. I like the shimmers. I primarily like this blue-brown duochrome, but who doesn't? Clearly got hard pans, so, you know, not fun. And this is the only one that I ever actually wanted, which is the gold. It's not really that gold. <laughs> I primarily wanted it because of how green it is. I don't use this matte on the end, but everything towards this side is top tier. Especially that gold in the middle and that like sagey green right there. Um, but yeah, this is the only one that I actually wanted. So if I had to get rid of all of these, I would. As long as I could keep this one. But yeah, this is my Natasha Denona collection. Besides the one big palette that I have. But I, yeah, this is the majority. Next, we're going to talk about the Pat McGrath Iconic Illumination Palette. I got this for $29. Pat me on the back. That was such a deal. Um, I always wanted this. And it's randomly been going on sale for like $39. And then I used the um, $29, I mean, $10 coupon to bring it down to $29. But this has happened at least three times on Sephora. So like, you know, watch out for that. This is top tier. I clearly like this shade right here. Um, and the only reason why I am showing you this first is because it's the only one I can't open with one hand. Yay. I, I really only like one shade um, because this is good, but it's too dark. This is very red, so I barely use it. And I don't really use bronzes like that. So I primarily only use that shade. 
but these are all amazing like they all swatch so nicely um and they all have a use i just don't use them on a consistent basis but they are nice i love this palette it's a nice quad same as whatever this is called this um i got for like 14 dollars actually and as you can see the gold shade is my favorite shade this is the duochrome i was telling you about that goes from like pink to orange and i guess brown too these are all good every single shade in here is perfect basically besides this one because it's like that glittery thing in there and it's kind of dry actually but yeah i like this palette it's discontinued you literally can't get it so if you have it you have it if you don't you don't oh sublime but this is amazing <laughs> these two pat mcgrath palettes top tier i love these and honestly i think so far i've gotten all the pat mcgrath palettes that i actually wanted like the new motherships that come out, I'm just like, oh, that's so pretty, but I'm not going to use that. <laughs> like, these are the ones that I'm actually going to use, and I actually have them. So, like, mission accomplished. The next palette that is too hard to open is the Chemi palette from the Cream Shop. I already have an entire video on this. This is amazing. I really like these Cream Shop shadows, and I primarily like this middle shade right here. I wouldn't get another one of these primarily because I, I barely reach into this one but this is nice if you're like a minimalist you know you just want to do a couple of things because when you mix a couple of these shades like if you actually mix the two shades that are adjoining they create like an entirely new shade so you have like five shades basically out of this and I just learned that recently when I used it so yeah I like this and it's cute and it's tiny and it's an entire palette but in a tiny little compact um this is sweet and shimmer this i got for christmas and it's nice it's a nice basic eyeshadow i don't really like the shimmers which is weird because i primarily like shimmers over mattes but the mattes are way better than the shimmers in here the shimmers are fine they're just not sparkly and that's what i like primarily like this one but over this one but yeah this is a fine little palette Next is something that I'm decluttering. This is the LA Colors Trio in Lotus. I don't ever use this, and I was keeping it around for this one. Primarily because even though these are pretty, they literally stain, so no. Um, but I, I clearly have some sort of goldish, bronzish shade like this. So, this is going. <laughs> this I recently swatched in a short. This is the F... This is the Essence Coffee to Glow palette. If you want to see it not kind of destroyed, then you can look at that short. But this kind of has like a warmer side and then a berry side. And I primarily got it for the jelly shade, even though the jelly shade is kind of trash. That's all I can say about this. <laughs> I like the mattes. This is the NARS Orgasm... Um, I'll just unwrap mini eyeshadow palette. This was for a holiday release. I primarily use it for this corally shade over here. These two have heavy fallout and this is basically like a satin, not really sparkly. But I like all of these shades. They all work nicely together. But this is the only matte, so I barely use it. <laughs> Except when I obviously want this matte. The last three are e.l.f. These two were from the Duncan collection. I already decluttered the yellow one. And I will be decluttering this pink one. Because I kept it around for this shade on the end. Because it was kind of a dupe for Frog. But I barely used it. Because it doesn't have the same undertone. Frog has like this peachy undertone. And this clearly has a white one. And the other two shades aren't actually matte. They have like glitters in them. And then this one is like meh. So I don't really care for this. That's going. This is so nice. Especially because of this shimmer on the end here. Love this one. Actually, this is kind of a darker dupe for that lotus shade. Like, it does the exact same type of thing. I don't know. It's something I, I you have to experience. I can't really explain the feeling and the look in person. Some of these hard pan, but yeah, 
this is the best one out of that entire collection and this is the only one that has survived out of all of the bite size shadows that i have bought this is truffles and it's because this has everything that i need a silver and some brown mats <laughs> but yeah these two are the only two palettes that are going from my mini palettes now I'm back to some single eye shadows. These are the ones that don't actually count as single eye shadows because they're not in pots or individual things. These are primarily depots from palettes, things that I have taken out of palettes even though I still have the actual palette, and single eye shadows that I just got from random places. So to start off, we have my Tarte um, single eye shadow thing, Z palette if you will. Um, this is the first one that I ever got. These at the top are all ColourPop So Jaded, like all of these circle ones. These two right here are Silk from the Bronze Palette and Zand from the Camel Palette, I think, from Natasha Denona. This is from Aether Beauty. These three that are square but not Natasha Denona are from ColourPop, I think the Hello Kitty palette, and these are from the Make It Black collection. But yeah, these are the shades that I took out because these are the ones that I primarily used and they've just stayed housed there. Next is my ColourPop BYOP. I literally chose all of these shades <laughs> and I think I've only used them a couple of times. Like I know for a fact that I used all the purples because this cloud shade, oh my god. Um, like, this is a shade that I've used a lot, but this entire section over here I barely used, besides obviously the purple. Um, basically, like, let's say this section and the green. All of these shades I've used multiple times, but these have only ever been swatched. Um, or actually, no, because I used this in an influencer review. I, I know I used these. But anyways, the whole point is, is that I picked these and I barely used them. Doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to make an effort to use them more. I just don't know when because I kind of sort of forget because they don't have a clear thing. So, oh well. <laughs> Same thing with the Garden Variety. This is the most beautiful palette they've ever released, at least in my eyes. Um, it's just, it's so pretty. But as you can see, I made my own Z palette. All of the backings are magnetic and it's cardboard so you can easily just cut it out. I never fixed it to make it uh, straighter, so oh well. This is an amalgamation of, I think three palettes? <laughs> because obviously you have the original garden variety shades, which would be like these, Aha uh -huh Honey would be one, two, and I think these three. This is from the Hello Kitty palette, I think. This is from Blush Crush. These two, this is Garden Variety, and these are Garden Variety, so like four palettes. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with this. These are actually from the Lorac palettes. These are the keys to pop out the shades. I like the way the shades are placed, but if I ever needed to pop them out, I just keep them here. This is my dupe for the Hocus Pocus 2 palette, but not the actual Hocus Pocus 2, the movie, just the second palette that they did because they did three palettes. And this is the little 12 pan one that I did. These are from everywhere, like the High Tide palette, the Lust for Dusk, just random things. This is the Aether Beauty Topaz quad. I just wanted to take it out of the packaging. I wasn't using it that way. And honestly, they're kind of sort of dry and I barely use them, but this is going out of business. I can't buy it anymore, so it's better to just keep it until I know I'm 100% done with it. This is my other home base, basically, besides the Tarte palette. These are the shades that I primarily used, but also it's where I'm going to declutter. At the top here, we have all of my Ulta Beauty shadows. There are three mattes and four shimmers. This is kind of trash, but... I also haven't really used it on my eyes, so I don't know if it's going to look better if it's on my eyes versus just in a swatch. These three, wait no, 
never mind, scratch that. These two are very old, they're from Primark, so these have to go. Like literally got them eighth grade. <laughs> And these two are depotted from my BH Cosmetics palette. This is a Sephora collection, Twinkle Twinkle. This is the one that I said that I took out of the little casing that I came in because this is just powder. The other one's cream, so that's why I kept that one in. This is my cuticle pusher that I use as the, used as a depotting tool. These two are the other two keys. I have four of those palettes. These are ColourPop Depots. This one and this one is from the Make a Black collection. No, actually all three of these and these two are from the Hello Kitty yellow palette. These four are from my NYX advent calendar. This I just depotted from a Primark, whatever it was called. And this I just depotted from the Joey palette from the Friends collection. This is from the Garden Variety palette and it is literally like the only white mat that I had in my collection until I bought that Inglot one. So yeah, I'm going to just take away these two and these two because they're super duper old and literally this red doesn't swatch nicely anymore at all. And they're just going to go into my reject palette. Everything else I'm keeping because even though these are basic shades I don't need, what's the point in getting rid of them when I can just use them, you know? Nothing's being decluttered from here because I would have already done that if I was going to do it. These are all from the Aha Honey or Blush Crush palettes or obviously Garden Variety. These are all the shades that I barely used because either glitter with mattes or mattes that are basically all white <laughs> on my skin tone. So there was no point and this was an actual glitter that I barely used so no. These are Urban Decay palettes, depotted, so these are full palettes. I still count them as full palettes because I never got rid of them and never changed the arrangement. I just took them out of the packaging. I have two more, although you will only see one when I show you my actual palettes because I don't actually know where that purple one is. It literally had gash in it. Can't find it anymore, and I just recently used that one. So I, I literally don't know where it is, don't know where I put it, but I know I have it. <laughs> has to be in this room somewhere I didn't take it anywhere so yeah this is highway queen I think this is detour those are the palette names orangey greenish and blush crush aha uh -huh honey garden variety that's what this palette is and this palette is all of the decluttered shades already the ones that I haven't thrown out yet because I was looking for a dupe or whatever and also some that I kind of just forgot were in here these are all from the BH cosmetics palette but yeah, I'm going to put those rejects in here and that'll be that. Now we're moving on to face palettes of which I have five. These are not in their own category. These are counted as palettes, but I have a subcategory. So even though in the total there are five face palettes, these are their own thing. I just count them as palettes. So, you know. Out of my 112, five of them are actually face palettes and not real palettes. Anyways, this is the, uh, wow, that's crazy. Pat McGrath um, Holiday, four blushes, one highlighter. Obviously, you can see the ones that I use the most. Um, this is so hard to get open, so unfortunately, that's all you will see. Because I cannot open this again, at least with one hand. This is Divine Rose. Yeah, okay. So it includes Desert Orchid 2, Divine Rose, Peony Rose, Electric Bloom, and Nude Nectar. Electric Bloom was the one that I decided I was going to get if I ever got a Pat McGrath blush. And then it came out in this quint, <laughs> I guess. So I decided to get this instead. This kind of sort of stinks. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to smell. But I don't like the way it smells. But I like the way it looks. So I'm keeping it. I mean, I spent my money on it from the actual Pat McGrath site at that. Like, not even from Sephora. Like, I actually wanted this. <laughs> this is from Fenty. This is way discontinued. Like, it was discontinued years ago. But these all still work. These are primarily eyeshadows to me. I don't really use them as highlighters. But since this is a highlighter palette, it counts as a face palette. 
I primarily only use the center shade right there. But these are all nice. Can I close this with one hand? Ooh, look at me. This is the Uni Face palette. This is a top tier palette from the Sephora Coach collection. This is my favorite palette, actually. This was the last palette that I got. I got every single thing from the collection, actually, besides the brushes, I think. And this I got last because it was on sale. And I was like, I literally have every other palette. Why not just get this one? So I'm so lucky that I did because not only did I get a discount on it. This is actually amazing. The clay shade is basically my skin tone. So it's like a blurring powder. The rose blush shade is so nice. And the eyeliner is top tier, but just a little bit goes a long way. It's it's so blinding. It's crazy, actually. I love this palette, and I'm going to be upset when I actually pan it. Because <laughs> I, I know I will. These two are highlighter and blush palettes. This is the Benefit Cheek the Male palette. It includes the Terra Blush, Hula Bronzer, and Cookie Highlighter. I wanted to try the Cookie Highlighter and the Terra Blush. Didn't really care for the Hula Bronzer. Like I said in my video where I reviewed and swatched this on my face and on my hands. So if you want to see that, it'll be linked down below, obviously. I actually don't like the blush. And that's what I got it for. And the Cookie Highlighter is very stark white. But it is a nice blinding highlight. So I like it. Just gotta be going for it. And the Hula Bronzer is top tier. I get why people like it. It's not my shade, but like... <laughs> I already knew that going into it. I really only wanted the blush and the highlighter anyways. But the blush I really don't like. Only because of the glitter in it. It's a nice blush. I just don't like glittery cheeks. So if I get one of the matte ones, that'd be fine. And the last face palette is the Nosta Beauty Swatch Me palette. Um, I got this from Super Great when they were launching. Hold up, I need to take it out the thing. Okay, so yeah. I don't know why I was going to do that one-handed. But anyways... They basically launched on Super Great. I paid full price for both palettes. Um, they're from New York, so it shipped super quick and easy. Like, I literally got it basically next day. These are top tier palettes. I don't really mess with the highlights. I don't really care for them, but they are cream to powder. Everything in here is. So, I love that. My favorite shade is Pause or Stop. Play is very, very purple. I don't, I don't really like that. But Pause is, yeah. Um, and... As you can see, I, I use them a lot. Kind of stopped using it because I have other blushes, clearly, that I use. If you want to see my uh, blush collection, it's in the first video, and it's a lot. And I have shades that basically dupe all of these, but I've had these for, let's say, I would say like two years now. And these are cream, and nothing's happening to them, nothing has changed, it's all still good. So yeah. I like this palette. I don't um, use it that much anymore, but it's a nice one. It's also very aesthetically pleasing because it looks like a little VHS tape. But yeah, that is the last face palette that I have. And now we're gonna see what I decluttered. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. These are all of the eyeshadow products that I've cluttered that I have decluttered thus far. I've got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten products. So same as the lips. Um, and also I actually didn't get to the bigger palettes yet, and I know for a fact that I'm decluttering some of those. So there's gonna be at least 15 things from the eyeshadow collection. But yeah, if you wanna see why and how and actual swatches, because these are the things that I actually swatched and that's why I'm kinda not doing it for my single eyeshadows because oh my God, the glitter, ugh. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see all of these things swatched and why I even decluttered them in the first place, you can go watch the other parts. One and two will be right down below. And yeah, this is the end of this declutter. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz, and I will see you in another video. Bye!